hi guys welcome back to my channel and in this video i will teach you how to connect the wires of a universal motor to the power supply now uh, this universal motor has six wires as you can see here now where do we find universal motors in our house so these universal motors are present in mixers grinders drill machines jigsaws most of the power tools etc okay so uh, for a universal motor also known as a DC AC series motor so you see here this is one field winding this is uh, the second field winding and in the middle is the rotor or armature that is connected to the supply with the help of two brushes and commutator okay so these three wires are for this field and these three wires okay are for this field so it does not matter on the size of the universal motor the number of wires and connections always remain the same so first what I will do is check out the two output wires from this field winding and then I will check the two output wires from this field winding okay so the gray wire and the black wire and here as you can see it is showing a resistance of 79.6 uh, uh, ohms almost 80 ohms uh, so this uh, coil side output wires are gray and black here and for this side these are the blue and uh, the black these should be 79 or 80 ohms yeah and how I know that that is because this white wire here is connected to an electronic component here because of which there is a little bit projection beneath uh, this uh, insulation and uh, the wire from that electronic component is connected directly to one of the brush and same as for this one which is the red wire that is connected to the electronic component and then it is connected to one of the brush so obviously this wire is not connected to the field so the remaining two are for the field wires okay so as uh, the name suggests DC AC series motor meaning the field of this side will be connected in series with the armature which will be connected in series with the field on the other side and that should uh, be the proper connection for this uh, universal motor okay so for that we are going to need uh, these uh, two clips since we are testing it at present it's not a confirmed connection okay I will take it a little bit closer closer you see this this blue wire is from the field of this side I will connect it to, br to the brush here okay and then keep it held with the help of a crocodile clip okay yeah you see here make sure that it is not uh, in contact with the case and uh, same as for this side uh, take any of these two wires like uh, this one is smaller gray one so I will take this and keep it held with the help of a crocodile clip yeah so this one is connected to as you can see here it is connected now I'm left out with four wires this one this one the red one and the black one okay now the red one and the white one are the two wires that are connected to the electronic components so I have to neglect those two now I'm left with our two wires and both of them are black so let's give some volts to it and see if it starts operating okay so guys here I'm going to use an HP printer power supply okay you can see the output of it is uh, 32 volts and only 625 milliamperes and uh, uh, these universal motors are usually require high voltage because of the high resistance since all the windings are connected in series and also these are uh, designed to operate at a really high voltage like uh, 220 to 30 volts and I'm going to operate it at just uh, 32 volts so obviously it is going to operate a little slow if it is going to operate uh, considering the connections are okay 
okay uh, one of the connections let's got out okay and yeah, now it's fine okay so let's hope that it is connected in the correct manner now I'm going to give it a 32 volts DC supply remember that it is a universal motor although it operates on AC it is also going to operate on DC okay you see it is not starting uh, that is because I think uh, the connections are not properly done now what I will do is instead of that uh, uh, that gray wire I'll connect this black wire okay and now let's see yeah you see it started operating okay so it uh, didn't start at the first time that was because of uh, the Murphy's law like uh, if you try something and you are not sure of it the first time it's never gonna work out but if you know something and you are doing it right then obviously it is going to work out and, and then Murphy's law won't be applied there are two cases and that is an unsure case so to that case obviously Murphy's law was applied and it didn't operate you see it is operating really slow but it is operating so one thing is sure that uh, the remaining two wires are not needed at all so I have to cut them out okay yeah okay these two wires have been removed and it is working pretty good okay you see here obviously I'm giving it a 32 volt supply instead of a 220 volt supply so the torque is really low the speed is really low but it is uh, enough to get it started uh, indicating that the connections are all right okay once again and beware of the inductance effect if you are using your hands temporarily for connecting it this uh, coil acts as an inductor and it takes up magnetic charge and if there is a little bit disconnection of the wire there is a high voltage that is released because of the inductance effect you see here I will show you uh, the close of you okay so yeah I have connected it for some reason it is not starting but I will have to give it a push and it should go yeah okay it is working and this is how you are going to connect a six wire universal motor and if you are having a four wire universal motor then obviously the two wires that I just cut off a few moments back will not be there and you will have to follow the procedure for the four wires here and in case you have only two wires then you don't even have to watch this video because you just have to plug and play okay so guys that would be all about the video thank you so much for watching it please hit like don't forget to share and subscribe and if you have any queries as I said before you can always ask them in comments and I will answer them thank you